Hey there, neighbors. What do you like to play? <laughs> uh, Heidi ho, neighbors. Rado Goji here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play Pokemon Red version for the Game Boy Color. Yup, we're going Pokemon on this. Um, this is basically my Baldur's Gate replacement for now because, uh, as I expl if you don't watch my Final Fantasy adventure or I mean, if you just if you're just checking this out, then welcome. Um, for those of you who are subscribers to me, this is basically because um, in lieu of Baldur's Gate at the moment. Uh, I've explained why in my latest um, Final Fantasy Adventure video can't get the um, disk drive to work. I guess you could say is the best way to put it. But we're gonna be playing Pokemans. Um, I do like to play Pokemon quite a, a lot. Pokemon. Um, for those of you who... I, I've been playing this since, you know, it first came out. Uh, I was actually in 8th grade when it came out, so I was like, you know... The nerdiest of the nerdy. <laughs> uh, back then. This is basically... I'm not gonna read this. It's just... Uh, if you... If you watch... If you're watching this, you're probably into Pokemon already, and you know everything about it. Um, we're going to be Rado, because that's, that's our name, that's, that's my name that I go by on my Let's Plays, and I can't fit Rado Goji, so I'm just going to be Rado. Right, so your name is Rado. Oh, that's right, I have to come up with a name for him. Um, what is his name? We're going to call him something different. We're not going to call him anything vulgar or anything like that, because that would be too predictable. We're going to call him Lenny, because that's the first name that came to mind. His name is Lenny. Okay, so, uh, for those of you who may be interested, uh, the Pokemon games I've had over the years include Red, which I'm playing right now. That's the main reason why I pick, picked... I, I, I prefer Red and Blue over Yellow. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to turn the volume down a bit. Um, nope, the volume's at a good point. Never mind. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, I mainly picked red because, uh, that's... I, uh, a, I prefer red and blue over yellow. I do have yellow, um, but this is the ver main version I have. First thing I always do is I go to the PC, take out this potion. Um, basically the way I'm going to be going about... Well, the, uh, my other train of thought was... Pokemon versions I, I have, I own, uh, include red, yellow, gold, uh, sapphire, leaf green, emerald, diamond, platinum, heart gold, and black. I don't get both versions, because I don't need both versions of any particular thing. Uh, they're the same game, uh, the only difference is, you know, the Pokemon you'll find... There are a few more. There are a few other differences in a lot of the newer games, like Black and White, have bigger differences between them. Uh, but the main thing with the earlier games is a the story is exactly the same. B I usually know somebody with the other version. In fact, a friend of mine uh, and I always coordinate our versions uh, respectively, so that I always get I can always get the, the Pokemon that aren't in my version from him. Um, let's talk to our mom here. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. Okay. Um, now, obviously, because we're playing on a Game Boy ROM and not an actual Game Boy, we will not be catching them all. Uh, we'll be... Basically, I'm just going to catch what I'm going to be using. All right, Lenny is out at Grandpa's lab. Grandpa's lab? Well, he's not here. Professor Oak is not next door, so we'll look in his, his lab. His Pokemon Research Lab. I'm not going to be talking to every single person. I know that's usually a no-no with RPGs, but I've just played through this so many times. Rado Gramps isn't around. Okay. Those are Pokeballs. They contain Pokemon. The save option is on the menu screen. Yeah, a lot of this is tutorial stuff. I really should be checking everything. That's the way we most mostly play RPGs. Encyclopedia like that the pages are blank. There's an email message here. Calling all Pokemon trainers. The elite trainers of Pokemon League are ready to take on all comers. 
Bring your best Pokémon and see how you raid as a trainer. Pokémon League HQ Indigo Plateau. P.S. Professor Oak, please visit us. Oh, I, I didn't mean to push it again. Uh, I guess I should be using my not-quite-Magneto voice for uh, Lenny there, because he is our rival and thus the big bad. Or, he's as close as we're going to get to a big bad. <laughs> okay, well, m most other people would think about other people in the game, but... Uh, yeah, these people just talk about how awesome Professor Oak is. So let's uh, head on up. Uh, well, we can't do much else here. We can't go on the water or anything. Um, now, I was it was kind of a toss-up as to which Pokemon game I was going to be playing. It was either this or Gold. Um, the main reason I try to shy away from Generation 1 is because of the inventory management system. Everything is on one list. You can only hold 20 items or stacks of items with you. They can stack up to 99, yes, but... You can only hold 20 items with you and store 50 items on your PC, so... And yes, you use computers to store things in this game, by the way. It's, I know it's weird, but... Uh, and the, inven the inventory management system in this game is horrible. <laughs> it gets... Gold, gold was basically the big leap in the right direction by actually having... An inventory system, like a, your pack has, um, your, your item bag has multiple pockets, each of which can hold a certain number of items. So you're, not only are you a lot more organized, but you can actually hold a lot more stuff with you. And, um, it's not a mess. Hey, wait, don't go out. Why not? It's unsafe. Well, Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Yeah, and I know I'm not going to be doing voices like they sound in the anime. Um, I don't particularly like the anime that much, nor do I keep it as the standard to how Pokemon should act, so... Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting! Lenny, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Phrasing. Here, Rado, there are three Pokemon here. Haha, -ha, they are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokémon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left, but you can have one. Choose! Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Lenny, you can have one too. Yeah, the more, or the more I do that mag- the, I'm trying to do, I am Magneto, Master of Magnet, kind of voice, but the more I do it, the, more, the less it sounds like Magneto, and more it sounds like a... Uh, I guess that- I don't really watch Yu-Gi-Oh, but that uh, Bandit Keith? Okay. I can't understand you. Try speaking American. It's the only for America, you know, that, that, that kind of voice, but whatever. I always pick, I usually, uh, in my, actually in my, in my uh, younger days, I normally picked Bulbasaur to start with because it had a huge advantage over the first two Pokemon gyms, which I'll get into later. But nowadays, I pretty much pick water types for every game except for Generation 2 and its remakes. Um, when I pick Cyndaquil, because I freaking love Cyndaquil, but every other game, I've been picking the water types, because I I like Squirtle, I like Mudkip, so yes, you heard I like Mudkips, uh, if you really want to get it out of your system. Um, I like uh, Piplup, and I like Oshawott, uh, so I'm going to pick Squirtle. This Pokemon is really energetic. Do you want to give a nickname to Squirtle? And we might as well give nicknames to them. So his name is going to be, if I can fit it, Captain Floofers. I probably can't fit that. Maybe CPT for Captain? F -L Maybe if I do it all as one word. No, it won't work. So we'll call it, we'll, we'll call it, we'll refer to him as Captain Floofers. But I'm just going to put Floofers. Uh, Flo Captain Floofers is one of the many nicknames I have for things. Like if I name like a, if I actually name like a like a pet or something in a game, it'll be Harold, Lester, Dudley, Captain Floofers are the main four. Um, but I'll I'll find other names uh, for the other Pokemon that I'm actually going to be using. And uh, your rival will always pick. I'm I'm probably I'm probably going to try to be as informative as I can with these as well. Even though pretty much everyone knows everything about Pokemon nowadays, but. Uh, for those of you who are, I guess, are just kind of uh, interested in this, 
Uh, your rival, no matter what the game, will always pick the Pokémon that has advantage over yours. Squirtle is a water-type Pokémon, Charmander here is a fire-type Pokémon, and Bulbasaur is, a gra is mainly a grass-type Pokémon. Each game has a choice of three starters, grass, fire, or water. Uh, Bulbasaur is also a poison type, so he's basically a dual type, but he has the advantage over Squirtle because grass trumps water, water trumps fire, fire trumps grass. Um, the type system is a lot more expanded than that, but for all intents and purposes with these three, it has a rocks, paper, scissors type mentality with it. Wait, Reno, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Welcome to Die! And we're in our first Pokemon battle because Lenny wants to fight. You want to fight? So we'll send out Captain Floofers. Now the uh, basically the two attack. Every each of these characters has two attacks. Um, they have a, a regular attack type of attack, and they have like a debuff type of attack. Um, both Bulbasaur and Squirtle have tackle. Squirtle uh, um, and uh, both Bulbasaur and Charmander have growl. Uh, Charmander is the odd man out with the actual attack move, as he, ha he has Scratch rather than Tackle. And uh, Squirtle is the odd man out with the uh, debuff, because he actually has Tail Whip, instead of, um, um, what do you call it, um, Growl. Growl lowers attack stat, uh, and uh, Tail Whip lowers your defense stat. Um, and because Bulbasaur got a critical hit on us, we might actually lose this. But normally it's uh, basically a tackle fest until one person goes away, uh, loses. Normally when we lose a battle, um, actually we might get it this time because he actually decided to use, gro tried to use Growl. Yeah, we're going to be alright. But yeah, normally if you lose a battle, you will, um, you'll black out, lose half your money, and go on to basically the last uh, Pokemon Center, which is your heal spot that you went to. But in this case, if you lose, uh, there's not going to be any real repercussions because it's just your first battle, so... I picked the wrong Pokemon! And we get money for winning. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Rado, Gramps, smell you later! Yeah, there's the Magneto voice. That's the voice I've been trying to go for pretty much the whole time. Rado, raise your young Pokémon by making it fight. Force it to fight in one-to-one -one combat. We don't really have too much of a problem with Captain Floofers doing that, because he's Captain Floofers. So, uh, with nothing much else to do, we'll go to, um... This is Route 1, which goes from Pallet Town, which we start where we started, to Viridian City. Uh, pretty much every city in... Oh, uh, here's a wild Pokémon battle. Uh, wild battles uh, are si very much similar to trainer battles, except um, with trainer battles, um, they, they'll usually have multiple Pokemon with them. Whereas, um, if you make a when you make a wild Pokemon faint, then you don't get any money for it, but you still get experience. Um. So yeah, well we are pretty running pretty long time, so in the next part I'll explain more about the battle mechanics and everything by looking at Floofers' status, but um, we're going to talk to this guy. He says he works at Pokemon Mart, it's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. And he gives us a free potion. So that's pretty cool. And you can also save the game, which is handy. So there we go, save the game. And uh, I'm going to cut the video off here, and when we come back, more Pokemon! I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?